Health emergency operation centers serve as central command centers for managing, coordinating, and responding to public health emergencies. St. Lucia, like the rest of the region, is highly susceptible and has been impacted by a range of natural disasters. Over the past three decades, the Eastern Caribbean countries have experienced approximately 61 disasters affecting over 500,000 people and resulting in a cost exceeding 12.4 million U.S. dollars. While countries may have the experience and capacity to respond to these emergencies, addressing health crises and natural disasters is a growing concern. As a result, it has become necessary for countries to review their decision-making processes and ensure there are clear procedures in place regardless of the type of disasters. Hence the reason for the Health Emergency Operation Center's training, which was conducted from June 26 to June 28, 2023. Having well-defined procedures facilitate the coordination and collaboration of the various stakeholders given the multidisciplinary collaboration that are necessary to respond to events such as hurricanes and other disasters. St. Lucia has faced several emergencies that requires a coordinated response and therefore you have the experiences to pull from in moving forward in strengthening your health UOC. PAHO, according to Ms. Malcolm, was pleased to collaborate with the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, who has recognized the need to continue to build capacity to manage its health emergency operation centers. The training was aimed at assessing, identifying and analyzing existing coordination and decision-making processes that are employed during health emergency cycle in St. Lucia. Today, we gather here with a common objective to protect the health of all people. And for this reason, PAHO especially thanks the Ministry of Health in convening this training. We at PAHO are committed to working with the Ministry of Health and other stakeholders to ensure that we build a resilient health system, ensuring that we protect all persons, including those vulnerable to these events. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Ms. Jenny Daniel, stated that the training was timely in light of the recent cyclonic activities in the region. It is in recognition of this vital role of HEOCs in safeguarding the health sector's state of readiness that we the, at the Ministry of Health, El Wellness and Elderly Affairs, in collaboration with the Pan American Health Organization, has organized this training seminar here today. It is anticipated that this training will equip the internal stakeholders with the knowledge and capacity to respond to emergencies which may occur from time to time. Ms. Daniel said while the training on health emergency operation centers provided an opportunity for learning new concepts, it also served as a refresher in some aspects. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Julita Peter reporting.